Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13 through 13.5 and even 13.5.5 beta one without a computer. So yeah, you can install Uncover right now, even if the no computer method is revoked, utilizing this workaround we're going to be going over in today's video. However, some housekeeping stuff. First, this will not function on iOS 13.5.1 because it patches the jailbreak, nor will it work on 13.6 beta two. Now, having said that, I also wanted to mention at the beginning of this video, kind of as a disclaimer, I've known about this method for a little bit. However, I have not recommended it until now because it is circulating. And since it's circulating, I want to make sure that you guys know everything you need to know about it and some of the drawbacks to it and potential hazards of it. So having said that, what we're going to be utilizing is essentially an HTTP proxy, which means you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi because when you actually try to open up a developer enterprise certificate application, what it's going to do is it's going to attempt to connect to Apple servers and make sure that the certificate that the developer enterprise app is signed with is still active and valid. Now, because the no computer method does rely on the developer enterprise certificate, more information on the method itself can be found in your cards right now. I highly recommend watching through it. If you're not familiar with this process and you don't know what developer enterprise certificates even are, but at any rate, because it does check and because these certificates are revoked within probably an hour of Uncover being re-signed, we need something that essentially sits in between your device's internet connection and the actual internet itself to essentially bypass these security checks and allow you to utilize Uncover when downloaded while the certificate is revoked. And enter the HTTP proxy for Wi-Fi. So like I said, you definitely need a Wi-Fi connection, but you don't need a computer. Now, because of the HTT proxy requirement of this method, that's why I didn't really want to push it out to you guys until now. See, any data that your device transmits will essentially be rerouted through an intermediate server. Now, I personally have no clue who owns this server, nor do I know what they do with your data. So use it at your own discretion and definitely disable it after you've obtained Uncover. So that's the warning. Basically, any data transmitted from your device to the internet is intercepted. And that's how this is actually able to even work in the first place. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And then I'm going to definitely recommend to disable that HTTP proxy after you have done it. And once you do have Uncover installed successfully. So currently I'm going to show you guys that Cydia does load up. We are in our devices jailbroken state right now. So I'm going to delete Uncover and then I'm just going to reboot my device utilizing Power App, which is a really awesome utility. And uh, uh, once it does reboot and come back up, we are going to get into the jailbreak portion of this guide, how to install on cover while revoked. But uh, yeah, I'm just speeding up this reboot process. So this is all done in post and it should be up at the lock screen right about now. Okay, so here we go. Let's just go ahead and swipe up and input my device's passcode. So as you can see, we are not in our jailbroken state. We obviously do not have Uncover. Cydia crashes because we did just reboot and we need to re-enable our jailbreak essentially. So the first step is to add that HTTP proxy that I mentioned previously. If you're not connected to a Wi-Fi network, take the time to do that now and just go inside of settings followed by tapping on Wi-Fi and then the I next to your Wi-Fi network name. And and then I want you guys to scroll down until you see HTTP proxy and it's basically configure HTTP proxy and you want to set it to automatic. And then for the URL, you need to enter the following HTTP colon forward slash forward slash FF. So that's Frank Frank and then apple, A-P-P-L-E dot com. That will also be down below in the description. And then you're just going to hit save. Now, once you have saved that, you can actually go to the link that is down below in the description as well. I am not affiliated with this particular website and uh, I don't know who owns it either. But the URL is semi hard to pronounce here. So I actually just created a bitly short version of it. So you want to go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit dot L Y forward slash revoked 
dash JB. That will be on your screens now and of course down below in the description as well. And then once you go to it, it will redirect you to this site and you're just going to scroll down until you see the latest version of Uncover. As of recording this video, it's 5.2.0. Now there are four different iterations of it as of recording this video and you can tap on any of them. The names there really just correspond to which certificate it was signed with. So there are multiple iterations of the same version of Uncover signed with four different certificates. And because of the nature of this guide, when you are watching this video, if you're watching it at a later point, this site may change. So if it looks a little bit different for you, just look for Uncover and then download it. Now, of course, if that happens, I will update the description letting you guys know exactly what to do. But for now, you just want to tap on any of them, followed by tapping on Install, and then it's going to put Uncover in a blank space on your device's springboard. Now, if you entered that HTTP proxy correctly, it should download from any source. So it doesn't matter which one of the four you attempt to download and install onto your device. And it should just take a little bit longer than normal, but as you can see, we have Uncover. And it is titled Undecimus, don't worry about that. That's just the internal name given to Uncover by Hacker Pwn to Own for whatever reason, that's the app name here, but it will work. The only thing that we have to do is just trust the developer enterprise certificate as we normally do. So go inside of the settings application and then go to general, scroll down and tap on device management when you see it. It may take a second to pop up, but you still do need to be connected to that HTTP proxy. So don't toggle that off just yet. Tap inside of the developer enterprise certificate, tap on trust, followed by trust again. And then you can go to the home screen and you can launch up Uncover. It just takes a little second or two before it actually loads because of course it is bypassing that security check that Apple does with developer enterprise apps. And then you can tap on jailbreak. Now, if this is your first time jailbreaking, I'm just glossing through these jailbreak steps right here. So this is not the full-fledged on-device jailbreak tutorial. This is really just how to get on cover on your device without it being signed. So if you want full and detailed steps, definitely check your cards now. But the steps for actually jailbreaking are pretty much the same. The only thing that's really different is that the first time you jailbreak, it's just going to create a root FS snapshot. So you have to do what I just did twice. But check that guide for more details. If you're at all confused, it goes over everything you need to know. Okay guys, so now we are essentially jailbroken. We've re-enabled our jailbroken state on iOS 13.5.5 utilizing a revoked version of Uncover. How fantastic is that? But don't stop yet, the most important step is still to come. Go inside of your settings application, tap on Wi-Fi, tap on the little I to the right of Wi-Fi again, and then tap where it says configure proxy. Now set it to off, and then save. Now you won't be able to open up Uncover if you have an internet connection because it will essentially detect that it is no longer verified, but that's fine. If you ever want to utilize Uncover to re-enable your jailbreak again, all you have to do is just go inside of Wi-Fi and then put that FF Apple back in there and you can load it up. If it doesn't work for you, then you can simply just delete it and then re-download it using the exact same steps we talked about in today's video. But you guys need to disable that HTTP proxy because without doing so, all of the data that you do, everything on your device is transmitted through this third-party remote server that of course no one really has access to and we don't know who owns it. So yeah guys, just disable that. Better to err on the side of caution, only really use it when you need to get Uncover running on your device to re-enable your jailbroken state. But now you should be able to reboot without fear. Just follow the steps outlined in this guide and you can utilize everything related to your device's jailbreak and you won't lose out on anything that you've obtained through your device's jailbreak. Just simply re-enable your jailbroken state using this guide and you'll be good to go. And if you don't know what to do once you are jailbroken, check out our list of 100 free Cydia tweaks, and also my brand new list of top tweaks, which is in your cards now, as well as down below in the description. Both of those top tweaks videos will be linked to there. And uh, yeah, guys, until next time, this is ACU signing out. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of our top free tweak series for iOS 13.5. Five. I have some awesome new tweaks for you today. We're gonna cover those first. Okay, so let's get into things. 
First up, we have a new design for our widgets and notifications with Blanca. They're a little bit more rounded. You have a couple options to choose from there in the settings pane. Secondly, we have Color Me Notifs to uh, make your widgets and notifications the same color of the app icons that they relate to. Next up, we have this custom battery widget right here called Half. Looks pretty sweet. If you guys want your YouTube videos to keep playing in the background, we have Circube. We have multiple light on the dock. Now you can switch between your music controls and your dock icons. Uh, heading into the camera app, we have tap, tap, flip. So just double tap to flip the camera. Also on the home screen, we have tap, tap, lock to lock our devices. We have this pretty cool new way to select text. Instead of it saying uh, select all copy or paste, we actually have icons right there with menu support. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. If I go to Safari and 3D Touch on that, we have Paste and Search. Whatever's in our clipboard, we can just tap that and it will search it within Safari. Uh, I always use this one. This was just recently updated. Circle settings to uh, give our icons in the settings app a circular look.